Hey, what's up? Good morning. It's your boy L to the B. Yes, I am alive and awake this morning. I'm functioning. Life is good. Life is well. Setting up for a little bit of events and plans for this evening with my lady. See how that goes. Got the kid off to school. That was great. So didn't have too many problems. I actually went a lot better than I thought it would. I was a little bit rushing in this morning. Um, been up since 4.30. I'm like, ah. You know, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a late owl. And I've been going to bed earlier. So I'm getting adjusted to a whole new experience. Some of the concerns I have in the future right now are all centered around finance. Um, I think I prayed for vitality, received it instantaneous. I feel like that the finance may be, is going to probably be on the way, but I need to have more intentions based in that reality. And then we can start to have some of that manifest. I mean, honestly, I think finance is on the, on the minds of most people. They're really just wanting, not even just finance, they want their safeguards taken care of. They want to be able to just be able to sleep well, have a roof over their head, transportation, and food. It's not hard to ask for. And like I keep saying to myself, like this system is ready to break. And so if it's ready to break, I don't know. I, I think you guys probably understand it like I do. And that if it's going to break, it's needing to break for these reasons. That it gives what I just mentioned. In the short term, if I'm still participating in this whatever experience, I got to work, 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 provide, provide, provide. I can't, I'm still trying to figure out how to figure out that financial foundation because I now realize this is a lot more complex than what I thought before. Like, yeah, I might have a business, but it's not technically a business. And I like that if you ever follow Robert Kiyosaki's four, car, four quadrant system, that one is very telling for where you're at in your financial work slash income. So most people are in this first two quadrants which is you're working for somebody or you're actually working for yourself. And in those two scenarios, you're both working. You don't have a you don't have the luxury of sitting back and having this thing function without you. In the other two quadrants, the third and fourth one, you actually have a business and a business is set up off of the structure or framework of systems. That's something that is continuing. Passive income would run according to this where you have minimal involvement with maximum return. And so that whole space needs a lot of attention. I need to give it more attention. I need to develop a business of businesses or business. Something has to work in that framework of developing passivity. I have to have it. It's essential. That's the way my life is going to function because I am so, my career has made me such a slave to this freedom of being able to do what I want with the day that it's hard for me to turn back to the other direction. I mean, like, you probably if my hand was forced enough, I could do it. I mean, it would have no other choice. But um, let's be honest, we all don't want lives like that for ourselves. And I honestly, it isn't that I just want freedom to do whatever I want every day. I want freedom for everybody else to do what they want every day. So it's not even that enough that I need it for just me. I got to double me. So I really have to perform. And if I don't do it on that side of it or that landscape of it, then I am leaning and waiting on the, the rest of this uh, governmental structure to pull its weight and actually provide or figure out ways to, to give this kind of freedom to people. And somebody might say, like, oh, that just makes people lazy. Look, I don't think we need any help there. We're already a lazy nation because we're, we're overwhelmed. The, the, we're already strained too thin. Like... This is the age of abundance. In the age of abundance, that means that certain things should already be commonplace. There needs to already have safeguards. It should not be a reason to not have it. Somebody is still basing their brain off of this old model of you work to get what you need. You work to get what you get. And that's you deserve what you get because that's what you put into it. You pick yourself up by your own bootstraps and not... I say this enough in past videos. That is not the way forward anymore. It, it, matter of fact, it's like a hybrid. The fact that we would convince ourselves of enslavement just because we don't understand how we could benefit ourselves by being free is 
pure idiocy. And I feel like we're all walking that fine line of, well, I don't know what to do. I, I, I want to go back to the old model, which is broke. I want to use the broke model as long as I can. So we're basically using an old vehicle to get around with that is on its last leg. And we're praying, we're praying that we don't have that fall off. Because when that goes, then we're really shit you know, up against the fan, right? So then we have scenarios where a lot of the people that don't have family, they're just boarding together. There may be four, five, six people to a room. Well, this isn't very uncommon in some of the lower income countries. If you ever get a chance to visit some of these places, Brazil's one of them. I don't really want to talk bad about Brazil. If you're a Brazilian person, great. But there are spaces and locations there where people are just boarded up. They got like four or three or four to a room. And that suffices for sleep. So what am I getting at here? Whether we want to figure it out for everyone and get this all settled on like a base level, whether we want to do that or not, we still will be together in some other way. Remember, I said there's two ways. There's multiple ways. But there's usually like a good definitive two energy paths. And then you can kind of like get nuancy and granular after that. But let's look at the two that I'm talking about right now. You have the one where you benefit everybody on a certain socioeconomical level. People are, we are giving a nice plane. I've been echoing this shit since 2020. And especially since I've learned about how much AI has been driving the whole, you know, reality force. Which was last year. So I'm in like, I'm in like, hurry the fuck up, hurry the fuck. Like, there's no room for slowness in any of this. Like, I don't see why they should be slow. Everything that's making advancements and progress in all these other different areas do nothing to come back to the industrial complex. That's my problem. We got to get something back for the people. I'm not saying just completely open all the doors. But hey, would you rather open all your doors or some of the doors instead of having them broke in by people that are broke? You still having your doors busted open. I mean, if anybody's watched some of the bad news, the chaos news that's out there, which is happening, you will see clearly that businesses are having their places robbed. Hell, I think it's in California that you're able to go in and rob something, and if it's below a certain amount, they're not allowed to prosecute or pursue because crime rate is that freaking high. Like, give me a break. It is insane out here right now. Whether they covering it and you're watching it or you're not watching it and it's covered. I don't watch all of the material. I'm obviously off of my own little fantasy land pretending this is the way the dream world works and for me. But L, L to the B. LB does not, LB is aware that there's more out here besides his little freaking box that he's making for himself. So I'm encouraging anyone that watches this. If it's some smart, intelligent people that ended up just wanting to watch some random dude rant in the morning, figure out a way to get AI, and it's not even just us doing it. it is, I don't want it to be like that. It should be a collaborative energy. It's the elites working with the sub-elites. Figure it out. It has to be based, taken care of. You will allevi alleviate so many fears and problems and issues when the base level of things are taken care of, like imagine if there was nice places, little nice halfway places that are as long as you're there, you occupy fine. And then when you leave, you can leave and travel and go wherever you want. There's food wherever you want to go. But when you leave, you just simply, it, it goes vacant after you leave the place. I think that's the way life should be anyways. You come up, you say, oh, look, it's, it's not vacant, so this place is taken. Oh, this one's open, let's go check it out. You go in there, it's comfortable, everything's nice, you don't worry about it, and you take up residence. And you take up residence for who knows how long, and you may not be there very long. And then it's up to somebody else's to grab. This is the whole, if you're, on, if you're in the sandbox, imagine what the sandbox really entailed when you were a kid. And we're here on a on grand, spiritual, soulful level. So we need to figure out what the, the main rules we want to identify as the sandbox. But I guarantee you when we start carving out all these little rules and making them very rigid, 
it becomes more and more difficult. But now when we've got so much sand that we know what to do with, there's no reason for us to be so restrictive. I mean, that's what I'm envisioning. That's what I'm seeing. So either we take care of it, we can do it on a level like this where it's much easier, smoother, or people are going to do it anyways. People are naturally going to combine as a means to secure an end. So when we have people that are living together, they're boarding up in these houses just to survive, well, guess what? I mean, it's the exact same thing. People are still uniting. So if there's this energy of individuality and solitude and, and you have to go off on these lone wolf pursuits, it's not happening. And gosh, I don't know why we prescribe to so much of the program. It's unbelievable. Because if we look at it, the elite and all the major corporations and anything that you ever have as a history track for something that has been monumentally done and accomplished in this world has been done as a part of a collective. So when you start believing that I've got to do it all on my own, which I'm preaching to the choir. I'm one of these people. I have a natural disposition for this. I feel like it's in my blood as a Sigma male. I hate it. I do not think it's accurate. I don't think it's right. I do not agree with it. There's things that you need to do on your own independently as part of the collective. That is what I believe. And if somebody feels like, well, I've just got to do my share. I've got to work and provide for my family. Yeah, but whatever efforts you're putting out are not being rewarded to match that effort. So it's not a matter of effort out, effort in. That doesn't work like that. Because if that was the truth, you'd already be a, a billionaire, millionaire. Because you're probably a hard worker if you're watching this. A lot of people watch these other videos and there are a lot of intent-driven, hard-working people. But their output is not received well. They do not receive the same in, in return. And so what's the whole means here? Because you get paid based on your value. So what we have either is a lot of people working hard for valueless based outcomes and maybe it's not valueless based. Maybe it's that everyone, a lot of people are just exploited for their efforts given. So it's so great. It's a little nuanced there. Okay. So what are we trying to get at here? If somebody is a hard charger worker, let them be able to contribute in a means that needs to be done for the complex, but let their contributions be matched with their reward. So their output, they're matched with reward back. It's just like a lot of the businesses out here that they have giants and they've created this massive wealth and positional wealth, but the proportion of that in opposed to what keeps it functioning and keeps it possible is night and day. So all the wealth or the or the the reward gets concentrated in this small individual that managed to uh, grab a hold of this group of people and work them to death. Like that's a slave owner. So what our system has basically encouraged in a capitalistic framework, which is failing by the way, is slavery, master slave. You must really like, if you're a person that loves running people and organizing them and corralling them up, or if you, if you just have that kind of mindset, and I'm not, I'm not going into this as bad or good. I'm not doing that right now. But I will definitely tell you, you are prescribing to an ideology of master and slave. If that's what drives you. If you just simply are doing it because you know you want to provide for your family and you just wanted to have stuff on your own, and you're still in a master-slave mentality because the master controls their domain. Now, why am I saying I'm not going into a good or bad? Because in some regard, you need to have some control over your life. And that's being a master over your life. And if you're a master over others, then hopefully you can help employ and give others means to help them become masters of their own universe. So here's the whole point. Okay, it'll be a master, but be a master of masters 
instead of being a master of slaves. Because most of these things are set up as masters of slaves. And the slaves are running, it's, it's running its course. Because it's, when everybody is so separated and so divided in their, in their classes or socioeconomic classes, it always creates some aberrant behavior. It's just a matter of it playing out. I mean, other countries that have been around for a lot longer than America has been, thousands of years, versus like 100 in its development, 100 so plus two. We're not around 200. I don't even know how old our damn country is anymore. Needless to say, we are not that old. Well, America is really, really young. And so we need to take some advice from the past. Look at what we're doing, what we have in the present. Allocate resources appropriately. And AI can take care of all that. Such a blessing we have in our hands, at our disposal, that we need to use it appropriately. Anyways, that's all I want to rant on today. I don't really have anything else. I was up since 4.30. Wish I could have slept longer, but probably from that past nights of drinking. It's catching up with me, so I'm having to leave that alone. I don't know what this girl's got planned. Probably some alcohol. Everybody likes to drink nowadays. All right, you guys have a wonderful, super-duper Wednesday, and I will connect with you tomorrow as intended. Peace.